there are so many ways to explore the trails in Central Oregon. We're out here east of Bend on a beautifully sunny day. The dirt is dry and we're going to kick up some dirt with these things. We're going to make some dust. We're going <laughs> to get dirty today. This is something that's going to let us get out and ride today. It's their, their two seats, they've got tons of suspension travel. We can go over rocks, we can go over trees, we can do all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah, yeah, you're talking about the shock suspension. You can see them very clearly. What does that do for the driver? It makes the trail a little bit more comfortable. It makes it so you can, you can definitely go a little bit faster on a bumpy road or a bumpy trail. It's an off-highway vehicle, or OHV, you can use for cruising and exploring. Tell me about um, the motor and the power. I see they're different, so what's the difference between them? Similar power plants. They're both 1,000cc motors. One is a hot rod. It's a little bit more performance. It's got a turbo and, a, and, and, turbo. It's, and it's set up a little bit different. And so as we go out, it's, it's the bigger chassis of the two. So as we go out today, we'll see a little bit more about what it can do as far as uh, better speed, better, better handling and stuff. There are many districts you can ride in and around Central Oregon. There's five that I can think of off the top of my mind. Okay. We're in Fort Rock. To the north of us is Milliken. If you keep going north, you get, you get Henderson, Henderson uh, Flats, and mm. then you've got uh, Klein Butte. And then, of course, if you go towards Bachelor, there's, there's uh, Sheridan Riding Area. And there's more in Lapine that I don't even know about. I bet you have a lot of people coming in who are looking for something like that, to like get to these places kind of through back roads. Mm -hmm. Is that what you see with most people coming in that are wanting to purchase one of these and explore? Oh, definitely. Yeah, they want to get outside. Okay. Ah. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> Getting outside is something you can easily do in one of these. This type of vehicle allows a person to go for uh, a longer ride than on an ATV or motorcycle oh. and pack more equipment, um, tents and camping gear and coolers and barbecues and stuff. So they can do a, a lot of groups will go on a 200 mile ride. So explain how they're different from driving an ATV. Um, you're, in a, you're in a seating position, you have a steering wheel instead of a, a riding position with handlebars. Sure. And you have seat belts and so you're a little bit more contained. You have a roll cage, and so sometimes you can do a little bit different stuff. They're they're a little safer than ATVs in the, for the most part. Okay, and that's because of because of the shocks, or just because of that roll cage that uh, it has? The shocks and the roll cage suspension. Sure. Center of gravity is different. Also, they're going to be a little bit wider than the ATVs. It's time to hit the trails, so we can do this. They've got me spending, oh, spending all your money on me, and spending time on me. We make our way down dirt roads with bumps, rocks, roots, and dust. You want to get an off-road permit for the vehicle. Okay. And that'll allow you, that, that helps track how many vehicles are out here mm -hmm. as far as taxes and stuff. Yeah, that and does. that probably goes back to helping the trail system. Yes, it does, it does. Uh, to help maintain the areas like this. Okay. And the roads and some of the trails that we're going to see today. The trails east of Bend are well-maintained and used by many. At Pro Caliber, you guys sell these. Tell me about like the different models that you guys offer. We've got a couple of different brands that we sell. Can-Am, Yamaha, Honda, and, uh, and with the Can-Ams, we've got the, the Mavericks, which is what we have today. And of course, there's different models in that. A helmet is always recommended, along with gloves, and clothes that you're willing to get dirty. <laughs> Another day of fun in the sun on the high desert. You can check out Side by Sides for yourself at Pro Caliber Motorsports in Bend. For another edition of Get Outside, I'm Emily Kirk.